Hello beautiful people, this is Dale Florentine Padilla once again, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Color My World. I finished the sister and brother painting today, it's been like two weeks since I started painting it and just finished it. And while I'm painting, I trying to figure out what to call it, or what title should I make when I post. So many labels comes to my mind as I paint. So I just keep painting until I'm happy with the results. So let me show you how I did. So, first, I have to make a sketch or drawing to serve as my guide in painting. As I am making the drawing, got to think about my daughter and son when they were small. They have 13 years gap. And then my grandchildren, Sophia is 5 years old now and Alistair is almost 6 months old. Both, my children and grandchildren have a furry friends and they love them so much. So this is how this painting goes and now let's start putting together the colors. I hope you like it and have fun painting with me. By the way, this is the picture of my reference in which I incorporated my own concept and drawing from my own imagination. Let me just put my underpainting, first layer of paint applied to my canvas, and it functions as a base for other layers of paint. I'm just gonna put a bit of that color, loose coloring like that, and I am leaving some brush marks. And here, I'm starting to form my lake, backdrop mountain, trees, and foliage. Let me do some rock formation at the lakeside using my palette knife. Using your wide imagination and play with your palette knife and colors of your choice to form your rock.
Just play around with your colors, you don't know what gonna work unless you try it. Still, I am working with my background, let me put some details on it. Now let's start coloring my umbrella, using scarlet red, little bit of white and black. Okay, so my umbrella started to come together. So let's go down to my sibling's color details, starting with Big Sister's fedora hat. Using black, scarlet red, cadmium orange, lemon yellow, and a bit of white. I keep building my colors together with the highlights and shadows.
Now, let's do my furry friends. Let's start with Pumpkin, and he's a Yorkie. For pumpkin, I'm using black, bird sienna, bit of yellow, and white. Now, let me make the details of Parker, he's a Shih Tzu dog breed, older than Pumpkin. This space is empty, so I decided to put some rocks on it, then later on we'll add some flowers to make the scenery more beautiful and balanced. Now, let's try to do the greeneries and flowers in this area. We'll put first the bushes, all you have to do is dub here and there. Make sure to make it balance, and put a character on it. And here comes the flowers, using two or three tones to make it more attractive. In here, I like to put a trunk of a tree, in the middle of some variety of plants and flowers, just to fill the area. We don't want an open space in this scenery.
I guess I'm done with my painting. Let me show you how it looks. I am happy with the outcome. I hope you like it too guys. My favorite part, signing my painting, there's a sense of fulfillment when finishing a painting or artwork. I just wish that I could motivate and inspire people with my paintings. You don't have to be a real artist to make artwork. I never really received formal education in art. It's just that I love drawing and painting since I was a little boy. I have my drawing 101 when I was in college, rest is just an experience. The point is, you don't need an art degree to start painting. You just need to trust your instinct and grab some art materials. So, if you're looking for some activities to make you feel satisfied, ease your boredom specifically during this pandemic. Most of the time in quarantine, I highly recommend painting. Because it not only improves your mental health, but also improves your physical health and brain function, widens your imagination. So, this is the outcome of my painting, and nearly end with the video. Before I'm going to reveal it, I just want to thank you guys for staying with me, for your support and please stay connected. As my standard, let me show you some of the progress shots taken during the process of painting. So there you go guys, once again I've done a fun painting, I wish I inspired you to start a new artistic adventure with your canvas or art papers. Art is powerful and it gives you satisfaction, joy, feeling of fulfillment once you're done with your project painting. So, start painting and have fun guys. Thank you so much everyone for watching, I hope you like my painting and love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. See you guys on my next video, stay safe and God bless you all.